Okay, for our training today, we're going to cover a module that comes with Postgres that is useful for fuzzy string matching and finding how similar two strings are to each other. If you go to the Postgres documentation um, near the bottom, somewhere we've got the contrib modules. Well, this is a bad start. <laughs> I'll just find it here. Uh, fuzzy string is the name of the fuzzy string match is the name of the module, and it includes several different functions um, in, in Postgres that you can use for matching strings. Um, SoundX basically um, turns a string into a hash based on what it sounds like, so you can see if two strings sound similar to each other. But what we're covering today is the Levenstein function. And what it does is it takes two strings and it calculates the edit distance between those two strings. And it does that by figuring out how many inserts, deletes, or single character changes need to happen to transform the first string into the second string. So here on this example, um, gumbo to gamble, we would need to edit the U to become an A. And then we would need to append an L at the very end. So that's an edit distance of two. You can also change the cost of inserting a character, deleting a character, or substituting a character. But usually the default costs of one for each of those are pretty good and what you want to stick with. So to use this, um, first thing that you need to do is you need to load up the extension. And you can do that using the create extension syntax. And you only need to do that on a database once. And you can put this in a migration. After you do that, the Levenstein function is available. Um, Levenstein. And you can pass it to two strings. Like that. And then it reports the distance. Uh, one thing to note about it is it is case sensitive. Now that's a, an edit distance of three because we have to change a lowercase g to a capital G. So typically when you're using this, you'll probably want to uh, do a case transform like that on your data. All right, so here in this table, we've got Bob, Fred, David, okay, let's insert another one here. Um, <clears throat> insert into demo name values AV. Okay, let's go with that. So let's say we have a, a target string that we're interested in, like Dave, and we want to find out how close everything is to that. So we can select star from demo and um, Let's throw on the Levenstein distance and say we want the distance between upper of Dave. And you can do that upper transform in your application before passing it to Postgres. But here we'll select a column from our data set. We'll call that distance. Oh, um, I need the create extension here in a different database. Now we've got that, and then we can order by distance descending, for example, or um, ascending. And now we can see which rows are closest to what we are looking for. Now that's a pretty good start, but if you have strings that vary in size or in length by a great deal, then you'll get some kind of confusing results there. So normally what you want to do is normalize this by the length of the strings or, or the maximum Levenstein distance that any two strings can have. And that is defined as the maximum of the length of the two strings. So Dave on one side and the length of our column on the other side. So that normalizes things, and we'll want to cast that to a real so that we're not doing integer division and throwing away most of them. Hold on, link, like that. 
So now here we can see that this one is 20% dissimilar from our target string of Dave. Uh, David is 40% dissimilar because we are um, two characters off. The I and the D differ from the E. And Bob and Fred are just completely different. So this is how on one of our projects we are able to um, show them which uh, items in the database are most similar to a reference item. Um, they can go in and type in some, a search keyword and have it restricted to only things that match that search keyword, but it still sorts by edit distance. And um, some things to note about the Levenstein distance, it is kind of expensive to compute. It is an n squared algorithm. For the data set that we used it on, that turned out to be okay, but I've seen data sets where that blew up into potentially taking months to calculate on a database with millions of rows. So test it out first and see if the performance is acceptable. Any questions? One question. You always have to have the reference string. So basically whatever it is you're searching for is the reference string that you feed into your select statement. In this case, it's Dave. Right. Okay. So any, as an example, in the project that we've been working on, you would type in the name or email of a given user, and it would then say, here are all of the users that are similar to what you typed in. Um, and here is, you know, how dissimilar they are, maybe. You might show, you know, this is a 20% match or a 40% match or something like that to the to the user. Exactly. Okay. Yep. 